So, you know, talk about having the opportunity to portray Marcus Luttrell and just how it was different from any other role for you. It was different from any other experience I've had in my entire life, uh, certainly my professional career. Um, you know, I immediately felt an enormous amount of pressure, but then, you know, my instinct kicked in and, and then I started feeling an enormous sense of pride that I could be a part of something that was so special and so important. And to, to, to make a tribute not only to Marcus and his team guys that, that never made it off that mountain, but also to the Afghan people who risked their lives to save Marcus um, and the Afghan people who live in those conditions still to this day. And talk about being able to reach so many more people with the story through film. Yeah, you know, it's one of those things that a lot of people don't like to read anymore. I find myself reading because it's a big part of my job. But uh, if I didn't, I probably wouldn't be reading at all. Other than, you know, maybe glancing through a newspaper and probably end up at the sports section like most guys. And, um, you know, but, uh, you know, Marcus, I think he's, I think he's, you know, he feels tired. Uh, you know, he's been trying to keep their memory alive, and now I think this this gives him a second to just relax and breathe and, and know that, you know, the story will reach so many more people without him having to walk with his bad knees and back and everything to, you know, from person to person, place to place. But even once he rests, he's going to get right back out there and continue to do so, because that's just who he is. Talk about having Marcus and the other SEALs there every day to make sure that you got it right. Well, we had to get it right. You know, there was, there was, there's no failing when it comes to this. There's too many people depending on you. Uh, there's too many people that have uh, really high expectations, and they deserve to, uh, considering what they went through and what they lost. And so, you know, we just said, guys, if there's anything that's even remotely false, just snatch us by the neck and show us how to do it right and make us do it until we get it right. And that happened on quite a few occasions. And I said, you know, Maybe I didn't mean so rough physically, but no, but it was what it was, and we loved that about it, because you know what? We were in it every day. We were as close as we could be to that, and, uh, and having them up there and living on the mountain every day, you know, from sunup to sundown, uh, and just, you know, lying, using a rock for a pillow, and everybody telling stories or playing football, uh, and then going down and eating together, and, you know, we spent the entire time together, and it was, it was really special. Talk about that not only the camaraderie, but the focus and professionalism and dedication to one another despite, you know, constant, being under constant siege. You know, it, it was really like that with everybody involved in the film, both in front of and behind the camera. Um, you would see uh, the catering guys helping the grip guys bring stuff up to the mountain and, and uh, you know, the medic helping somebody else. He didn't have anything to do with their department, but everybody was so committed to making the movie as good as possible. And uh, I've been on a lot of movies, 30-some-odd movies, and I've never seen that. I've never seen anything close to it. You know, people usually have their own agenda, right? Uh, they're worried about their thing. And, uh, you know, that wasn't the case on this movie. And I don't know if I'll ever experience it again, so I'm just glad to have been a part of it and to, to know that it, it, it did exist for that, that short period of time. And talk about Peter Berg as your leader. You know, when he's, when he's not trying to kill me, he's give me positive uh, encouragement and reinforcement. But Pete's an actor first, so he can really uh, relate to what we're going through and, and knows how to bring the best out of, out of not only his cast but also his crew. Um, and he's a, he's a warrior in his own world, he really is, and uh, there isn't anything I wouldn't do for him or with him, uh, even if he, you know, lights a motor off two feet from my face intentionally. Thank you so much. Thank you. I appreciate it. Take